When I'm working with my students, they always notice my flute and they always ask, why does my flute have holes? Why is my flute longer than theirs? Why does my flute look different than theirs? So today I brought with me four flutes of varying levels. I wanted to discuss what the differences are and why. I'm using the Complete Flute Buyer's Guide from J.L. Smith as my guide for this discussion. This is an old one, it's from 2009. I'm sure you can get newer ones. I believe they are free. So if you are at some kind of flute event or music instrument event, pick up one of these because it's really informative and it's really good. I'm looking at page 36. This is the flute finder chart. And they're showing us the different categories of flute. Starting with student flute, that's the model you would start with when you're first learning. Then step up, intermediate, pre-professional, young professional, professional, and artist. At the beginning of this book are the flute features. So that's what I want to talk about right now. The differences between these different levels and the features that they have. Okay, we're going to start with these two flutes first. This one is a standard student level Yamaha 200 series. This one is actually a really old um, DeFord model flute. The first difference, biggest difference you notice, are the open hold keys. Student level flutes pretty much never have those. You have to make sure your finger is in exactly the right place to cover the hole, which is not easy to do. So usually students start on the closed hole flute and later move on to the open hole. The reason for the open hole, really, I mean, you can do some cool trills and some cool sounds on them um, that you will need to do as you get more advanced. There are some theories too about the air traveling out of the hole while you play, makes a better sound, blah blah blah. I don't know if I believe that. Another big difference you'll notice, the student level flute has a C foot joint, so that means only two little uh, keys on the foot joint. The next step up flute has three because this is a B foot. So that means that the flute can play a low B, lower than low C, however it can also um, have just a bigger sound, slightly bigger sound, because it has more mass on the instrument. So it's actually a little bit heavier instrument, has more metal on it to vibrate. So to some people this creates kind of a bigger, more pleasing sound. Another difference that you'll notice is the G key. On this student level flute, you'll see how the G key kind of sticks out from the rest of them. They're not in a perfect line. However, on this one they are. That is not necessarily a um, beginner versus intermediate thing. It's a preference thing. Um, the ring finger on your hand is a little bit shorter than the rest, so some people prefer to have this key sticking out a little bit farther to help with that. Some people prefer the look of the inline keys. Um, I've gone back and forth. My last two flutes have been offset keys. I just like the way it feels better for my hand, but it's a preference thing. But really, truly, the big difference between these two flutes is the material that the head joint is made out of. Student level flutes tend to be made out of a nickel silver alloy with a silver plating. So you can see here, I let the, the head joint stick out a little bit. It's a different color than the rest of the head joint because this has the silver plating and this does not. So this is the bare nickel. That's the biggest difference. This guy, I left it stick out a little bit. It's the same color. So this is made out of solid silver. This one's not. That is the big difference between a student level flute and the next step up. So this Yamaha, according to the flute finder chart, is a student level flute, ranging in price from 500 to 750. This guy is not on the list because he's so old, but I would put this in the step up category, ranging from 750 to 1500. Our next comparison is the old DeFord guy and a Miyazawa 402 model. So looking at the visuals, um, you'll see this Miyazawa is going back to the offset. Also there are these French pointed arms on the keys that don't have holes. 
that this one does not have. This could be just for cosmetic reasons. I mean, it looks prettier and fancier. Um, the theory behind it is that you have the pressure coming and pushing the key right smack in the center. Um, better resistance than this one that's pushing just from uh, just from the edge here. So again, it's a theory. I don't know if it's true. Here with the foot joints, you can get a good look at the the pointed arms. Another difference here is that this Miyazawa has a C sharp trill key right above your B flat lever. So this one has a B flat lever. Our Yamaha student guy had the B flat lever. Um, this one has the C sharp trill right above it. Makes it a little easier to trill that note. Again, the big difference here is the metal. This Miyazawa is made out of solid silver. Um, the keys, I believe, are plated, silver plated, but the tube is made out of solid silver. Also, a lot of it is a little more handmade. Miyazawa 402, according to this chart, falls into the young professional category, ranging $5,000 to $7,500. And the last comparison is the Miyazawa 402 with a Miyazawa 9 carat flute. Obviously, the big noticeable difference is the metal. One is made of silver and one is made of gold. Um, that also makes a big difference in the price. This gold flute has a split E. If you look right here at this little guy, um, this flute does not have that. And again, it's kind of a preference thing. It makes uh, the high E not as squeaky which is nice, but some people prefer not to have that. This gold guy would be considered artist level, um, starting at $10,000 and going up. Bet you didn't know flutes cost that much. So that's my little spiel about flutes. Let me know if you are shopping and you have any questions, any comments. Um, my advice for flute shopping is to try everything. You think you only want an inline flute? try offset anyway. You think you only want a silver flute? Try gold anyway. I've been surprised by my choices. You know, every flute is different and every person is different. Um, so you never know. I hope this was helpful and happy fluting.